right there. We fill that up with a, a cookie stand and fry it. And that'll be the base. And we fill the whole thing up with foundry coke. Yeah, where's which, the coke? I, I was prepared to go down That red bucket right there. Yeah, there's a chart. Yeah. So this is foundry coke. Now that's just, essentially it's, 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 it's uh, anthracite coal that's cold. Been cooked. And all the impurities get cooked out of it. And that basically is just solid BTU. Really? And okay. that'll, that'll bring the belly of the furnace up to about 2,900, 3,000 degrees. Wow. Right in the center there. Um, Feel it, guys. And, uh, it's cold. That's cherry red. Yeah, oh, it gets, it, it, it cooks. No, that's, that's fine. So once all of that coke that we're going to fill this with burns down, oh, it's we start a program where we take a bucket of iron. There's 45 to 50 pounds of iron in that bucket that's broken up with 8 pounds of coke in it. So you drop the coke in, you put the iron on top. And then you put the coke in, you put the iron on top. And this, Mike, this, this furnace holds what, three charges at a time? Uh, four. Four. Yeah. So you put four layers oh. in there. Okay. And as the, as the coke burns and the iron melts, um, what happens is you lose a little bit of carbon in the melted iron now. So as the coke burns off, it puts the trace amount of carbon back into it, so you're sort of at a, uh, you know, the metal's similar as okay. when it comes out. So what we do is, uh, we'll have a blower going in here. So it's basically just coke and coke. Um, in, the, in that hole in the front there is what's called a box. You put a plug in there. Once the, once the well gets full, around over here, Mike's working on the slag hole. And uh, we'll put you a little iron yeah. dripping out of there. You know, the sun is full. Take a spike, we'll pop that clay right back and we'll put it out and we'll pour it out into a, a crucible in these pots here. And then we'll take the crucible and move it over and pour the molds off. What are the crucibles lined with? Uh, it's called refractory. It's the same thing that's in the, the furnace liner. I don't exactly know what the chemical composition of it is. Uh, obviously, it can withstand it's three, stuff. three, yeah. three grand. Three grand. Three yeah. grand. That some of it, yeah, you know, they make it withstand even more than that. Um, and how much iron do you get out of this whole so thing? So, it, it's sort of a rolling thing. So, it, it needs to be fed and bled, so to speak, okay. constantly. So, it's, um, so each, each cap we get about 100 pounds out of. So, you know, you get a 100 pound pot, you pour it off. You kind of start again. So this, and this furnace will make about 100 pounds every eight minutes, something like that. Holy cow! Yeah, wow. Yeah. So, That's amazing. You know, we'll, so once we'll, you get once you get rolling, you yeah, we're pouring about a half. A, yeah, it's about eight minutes, right, Mike? So Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Right. I guess the gist of it is. Yeah. About 15 minutes. It just takes so long to get up to temperature. Once it's up to temperature, it rolls. And this this uh, this this sort of furnace is uh, requires a lot of attention, but it's much more efficient. That furnace over there, that's what's called a cupolette. With the, it's got a wind box on it and a lid. So what happens is that furnace is kind of idle down a little bit. Uh, there it is. Sorry, I did That's a little bit different. Uh, that, you can close the lid on and you can call it idling. You can kind of like, you don't have to be as attentive.